The Sutton Trust was established in 1997 by Peter Lample. It exists to promote social mobility through education. Its ambition is to change the lives of children from less privileged backgrounds. The Trust is funded by Peter Lample and donations from private individuals, companies and foundations. It supports educational projects for young people from their early years through school, ultimately helping them access higher education and the professions. Today, Daniel Riggs is an economist at the investment bank Goldman Sachs. His present career didn't always seem so apparent. Uh, the sort of area we grew up in, it's, you know, it was quite a poor area. We lived in a council estate, a very small house, and we all went to the local state school that was just over the road. And, um, and it was only until I got about sort of 14, 15 when I realised that I was actually doing quite well at school and I began to look at other avenues, but it was all closed off to me. I didn't know what to look at, I didn't know what I should be doing. We actually saw the advert for the Sun Trust in the Sun newspaper and I realised that I wasn't alone. There was other kids out there that were, that were smart and had come from similar backgrounds and I just thought it gave me the confidence not only to apply to university but apply to a good one and, and suddenly my aspirations were much higher than they ever were before. So how does the Sutton Trust translate funding into action? How is it tackling the inequalities in education revealed by its research? Now in its 10th year, the Sutton Trust Summer Schools programme has changed thousands of young people's lives. The scheme was the model for the government's own programme, and the Trust continues to work with leading universities to widen access. For many students drawn from families with little or no experience of higher education, it's the start of realising a new world of possibility. We've been doing a range of tasks that I really feel has opened my eyes to the potential of going to university and in particular studying medicine at Oxford. You come here with the sort of impression that it's going to be really snobby and academic and everything, but everyone's quite down to earth and the professors are really nice and all the students are really nice, so it's been a good experience. The summer school is really key to Oxford and to young people, I think, because it brings young people here who wouldn't come to Oxford otherwise. It takes the mystery out of the place and I think it makes them realise their real potential for applying and uh, when they do apply, they have a very good chance of getting in, so the summer school does work. In Liverpool, the Trust, in partnership with the Girls Day School Trust, has funded a different kind of scheme. The Open Access Programme enables girls of all backgrounds to study at a high-performing independent school on the basis of merit alone. A recent review has applauded its activity, and the first group of Open Access girls have gained the school's best-ever GCSE results. I wouldn't have been able to send my daughter to Belvedere if it wasn't for the open access scheme. Um, it's given her opportunities that she wouldn't have had anywhere else. The open access scheme has made a difference to me because it's allowed me to reach my full potential and think about higher education courses. I've got firm foundations for anything I want to do in the future. But what are the bigger picture? What are the chances for other bright children from non-privileged homes? The Trust commissions research that challenges and changes education policy. Uh, we had a very fruitful collaboration when we did research uh, jointly with the Sutton Trust. Social mobility has declined in Britain um, in the recent past, and one of the big drivers of that fall in mobility has been um, a big increase in educational inequalities. If you look back over time and try and identify the word social mobility being um, referred to in the political press, it's a very recent phenomenon. I think the research that we did with the Sutton Trust actually kick-started that and put it very high in the public profile. In 2005, a report commissioned by the Trust revealed a disturbing fact. Three out of four top judges, more than two-thirds of top barristers, and more than half the partners of leading law firms have been educated at private schools. Yet those schools account for only 7% of the school population. In response, the Trust and the College of Law, with support from leading law firms, have recently announced a £2 million programme to encourage more students from non-professional families to enter the legal profession. And the Trust continues its much-needed activities on the ground. The Into University programme at this community centre offers out-of-school coaching and mentoring for children disadvantaged by their background. In its simplest form, Into University is showing children who perhaps might never have even considered going to university that it is a possibility. I think if I'm right, I should be the first person in the family going to university, so that would be a real personal achievement to me. I first got involved with the Trust because I discovered that Peter and the Trust really shared the passion that I share to do something about 
the education system in this country and particularly the social inequality that results from the unfairness of the system. For JP Morgan, the work the trust does around young people is absolutely critical. However, what's also important and what's unique we feel about the Sutton Trust is the work they do to lobby for policy change and inform the agenda for national debate. I think it's great that the Sutton Trust is expanding and doing more things. If it, if it worked for me, I think it can work for lots of other people and, and hopefully it's going to touch the lives of these kids that are growing up and, and you know, really be beneficial to them. Well, I just think we ought all to be incredibly grateful to Peter Lumpel for having this brilliant idea. The possibilities are endless, both for us and for the children involved, and for that we're eternally grateful.